Hello friends, it's Adrienne from AdrienneHeart.com and the Get Well With Me podcast. And today I want to share with you one of my favorite books. I love books. I am the biggest self-development nerd maybe ever, but this book is not self-development. This is a total wellness book. Um, it does deal a little bit with mindset, but most of all it deals with a concept that is uh, right in front of our face every day and we don't always see it. So I just want to share it with you. It's called The Rain Barrel Effect. It's by Dr. Stephen Cabral. Dr. Stephen Cabral is a naturopathic and functional medicine doctor. He works with a lot of different healing modalities and he's all about the root cause. And he was introduced to the concept of the rain barrel effect when he was um, studying abroad and, and learning some of these different healing modalities. Um, but anyway, the rain barrel effect is this concept that there's a bucket or a barrel and it goes um, like next to your house and accumulates all of the water that runs off from the gutters and no one notices this barrel until it starts to overflow and become a problem. And the idea is that that's how our, that's how our bodies work, right? When we're young, even if we're exposed to toxins, which we are, and uh, fried foods and different things that aren't good for us, we have room in our rain barrel. Um, but as time goes on and we get into our 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, our rain barrels start to overflow. And when they overflow, it's an accumulation of those toxins, usually paired with deficiencies, right? Like we have way too much of the bad stuff and not enough of the good stuff, so our body isn't keeping up with the healing process anymore. And that's when we get diagnosed with the high cholesterol, now we're taking a statin or the high blood pressure medicine, or suddenly we have psoriasis or eczema and we don't know why. And um, when we're having these symptoms, it means that our rain barrel is filled up. Um, and then when it really begins to overflow, that could look something more like a stroke or cancer or, you know, something that um, it was serious all along, but it just finally got to the tipping point, the breaking point, the overflowing of our rain barrel. And it's not just the physical toxicities, but our toxic emotions, um, a lot of times we lose someone and then our health wasn't good before, but then that just breaks us and the rain barrel overflows and then we're dealing with our own disease. So that doesn't have to be your story. Um, if it is your story, if you're there, then just believe that you can get well. Find someone who has overcome what you're going through and you can do it too. Like just see what's possible. Let your mind believe that if someone else can do it, then you can do it too. We all have limitations and we all have disadvantages and we all have different genetics. But what we can do is we can control only what we can control, right? That's where the serenity prayer comes in. So we want to um, basically relinquish the things that we cannot control and, and go ahead and take control of just what goes into our own mind and our own mouths. Um, and take responsibility for our own friends, our own environment, and that can help to empty our rain barrel. So what can we do to empty our rain barrel? This book tells you exactly, exactly how to empty your rain barrel. And when there's, like, here's a little example. So my nephew, he's super adorable. He was trick-or-treating and he had gone up the street and come back and his mom said, hey, do you want me to empty out your Halloween candy bag so that you can get more? And he's like, no, there's plenty of room in here. And that's because he was eating the candy as he was getting it. So there you go, right? He had plenty of room in his rain barrel. <laughs> because he was emptying it as he went. And that's what we wanna do, but from a healthy kind of maybe opposite standpoint is we wanna empty our rain barrels a little bit every day so that we don't get to that breaking point. And there are so many great ways to do that. And if you go to adrianhart.com, you'll see lots of articles and videos and podcasts about things that we can do to empty our rain barrel. It might be having a smoothie, it might be enjoying a meditation, it might be just taking some space for ourselves physically and emotionally, it might be taking a nap, it might be taking a day off, 
there's a whole lot of things that you can do from all different standpoints to empty your rain barrel. But if this concept resonates with you, I want to encourage you to get this book. I have purchased and given away this book several times because it really makes a difference. It makes a difference just to understand the concept, but then to have the practical steps. Um, to identify what are the main stressors that are filling up our rain barrel physically, emotionally, and in all ways. And then what can we do to remove those toxins out of our mind and body? And how can we replace any of the deficiencies um, that we might be missing to heal? So we really want to look at emptying our rain barrel so that we can have a long and happy life and you know it's really not how long our life is it's about the vitality that we have while we are living right like we just want to have the energy to live our best life to serve others more and better and yep that bug just that was just happening um we want to we want to be our best selves and the best way that we can uh, move in that direction is to find out what is filling up our rain barrel and how to empty it out. So head over to adrianhart.com, check out my crazy video on smoothies. That's going to inspire you for sure to put something into your blender and blend it up and super hydrate your body and super um, help your cells get lots of nutrients and and help your liver to detoxify your blood. So yes, do lots of smoothies, do lots of inspiration, and I hope that I can bring you a little bit of inspiration. Maybe you're not a crazy nerd like me and you don't just listen to audiobooks all day and make totally bizarre smoothie recipes, but you're on your own journey and you're responsible for emptying out your own rain barrel. So I just wanna bring you tidbits that can make a really big difference in your life and that is going to translate into you sharing it with others because we can't pour from an empty cup so fill up your cup with lots of goodness and then you'll be able to share it with others okay if you want to get rain barrel effect um, it's totally on Amazon uh, but go to my Amazon favorites and you'll see all the good stuff that I recommend and certainly this book is on that list. So adriannehart.com and then just look for my wellness essentials. So I will see you soon. Have a super great day. Till next time.